Hey folks, this is Kyle Kelly from Kelly's Park taking you through brand new video, brand new listing on a 2010 Regal 2700 ES. Um, here at Kelly's Port, we sold more than our fair share of this particular model, especially once they had done the, um, oh, the model redesign um, for what we call the traditional to the new ES seating. It's basically, ES stands for extended seating. What the team at Regal did is they really took out some stuff and really opened up the seating capacity and storage on this particular model um, and it really, really, really did well in our market. Again, we sold sold quite a few of these. Um, but uh, anyways, this particular boat, guys, uh, second owner boat, nice boat. It's known at Kelly's Port and not in a negative way. I mean, all the service work done at Kelly's Port, we've taken care of her. Beautiful boat, well cared, taking, uh, let's jump in. So big extended swim platform on the aft back here, pop in, pop out cleats. We've actually got a total of four cleats. Uh, up down each side, total of eight on the boat, um, but nice big area back here. Um, they upgraded the stereo, so you've got transom speakers on the back with that fusion rain system like you see in the new boats now. You can do different zones control, so transom is one zone, cockpit is one, bow is the other. Pretty neat, pretty slick setup. Um, stepping through the middle of the boat, you've got a nice center walk through. You do have filler and cushions to fill in the sun pad. Uh, you've got back here a nice little stowage spot to throw uh, lines and fenders and all that for quick and easy access uh, But it will fill in the sun pad the seat back and the seat base so you complete the very nice big huge U-shaped seating all the way in the back back here um, What's nice about this seating? First and foremost is ergonomical, so that way you don't have a ton of people piled on one side of the boat or the other uh, where you're working the trim tabs. It's a real nice setup that it just kind of evenly flows the amount of people up and um, up and down the front as well as the aft of the boat here as well. Big stowage, you've got stowage here, here, two and four ski stowages, actually one here. Another very large one up in the front up there, best in class stowage. Uh, the boat's still eight foot six, so if you're doing some trailer boating, it's a nice option for trailer boaters. Uh, these seats here will pivot. The whole seat base will pivot back around to face aft. It's a nice feature if you're co-wing out for the day or if you've got your driver here and your passenger is playing spotter for, you know, kids, whatever water sports off the back of the boat, they can turn back around and still kind of face them. It's kind of nice. Fully enclosed head, glove box. Uh, this particular boat has the pump out uh, fittings for it. So still good, usable head. Um, Volvo Penta 5.7 GXI. It's actually the preferred power for this boat. When you got the bigger power, the boat did not plane out quite as well. Um, this boat is more than enough with Regal's patented, much more efficient fast track hull. It's actually got a 24 degree dead rise. It's the deepest dead rise in the industry. It's a fantastic rough water boat. Um, planes out extremely quickly. Um, I think they're showing 575 hours on the boat. What I'd like to do, guys, for whatever reason, that just sounds high to me. What happened is, well, here's an example. What happened is, if you just turn the key switch and left in the on position, which a lot of folks did to do the stereo, the hour meter would actually log. But again, let me verify. Part of our preliminary um, inspections aboard boats that we broker, we do scan the engine hours off of the ECMs to confirm. So let me confirm that and I'll have that on there for you hundred uh, percent. We still do recommend a full mechanical inspection thereafter, but we do do an initial inspection to make sure, you know, there's no water leaks or uh, fuel leaks and safety equipment and all that good stuff. Uh, bow walk through doors. If it's a little bit of a chilly day. Uh, oh, and the seats, seats are one and a half wide. It's nice. So I'm going to use, uh, my two-year-old, as an example, loves to sit on daddy's lap or sit next to dada as he's driving the boat. Um, it's nice. sits over there, quick and easy. Great boat to drive. Um, again, 24-degree dead rise is a great, great, great rough water boat. Um, contoured seating up at the bow is another nice thing they featured as well with these uh, armrests that just pop in and out, which is pretty slick. Um, grab handles cup holders uh, and the nice little um, anchor well up in front for all your anchors and again all the stowage underneath here guys it's all 
fiberglass lined. This is the bow filler cushions actually to fill up in the open bow. Um, just a really well laid out boat, well thought out. Um, nice boat. That was a big fish. Um, anyways, uh, derogatories on the boat. Guys, there's not a ton to be candid. I mean, 407 boats, very, very, very clean. Little small bubbles on the dash here. I mean, whatever. It's just a carbon fiber piece if you are that concerned about it. The carpet had some of the edging. It is starting to have the wear. Uh, some of that rubber backing gives out just over time. If you take care of it, guys, you've got probably another year or two out of it. I would probably say at least before it starts to really disintegrate. Um, I always recommend the seagrass. Um, we've got it. Eh, well, let me jump over to some of these other boats over here that have it. But, well, here as an example, Derek and Spencer's old boat, if you can see it back there, you can actually do different types of seagrass. Me personally, like what they've got with the teak here and matching that with the flex teak that you've got in the back back here you can actually match that seagrass to get something very similar to this if you want or you can just go back with the weave you can you can pick it basically um and then i noticed like one little small puncture in the vinyl i know it's horrible turn the video off how dare there be any blemishes but other than that guys i mean it's a pretty freaking clean boat so uh kyle kelly is my name kelly's port this is the name of the organization that i work for you can catch us online if you are not already www.kellysport.com you can call us here at the marina 573-348-4700 or look at the 19 and a half mile marker here at kelly's port where we ask you to buy the best and only cry once. Thanks for your time.